thinking that what we're asking for legislatively is almost equivalent to the Dodd-Frank level of comprehensive financial reform, because this is mm. about comprehensive technology reform that moves from a systemically extractive and fragility creating attention economy to one that is great and healthy and society affirming. And so I think, you know, here's the thing. It would be way more fun to come to work every day, knowing that all of my design decisions come from a place of how could I make things better? Like imagine a world where LinkedIn says, our business model is about improving society. And even governments might even pay them for to do that. And LinkedIn moves from being this sort of, um, you know, uh, advertising based, you know, attention engagement thing that's always trying to persuade you to respond to your friends' notifications and endorse them for the skills after they endorse them for your skills and that whole manipulative game and say, you know what, LinkedIn could actually unilaterally coordinate mass business drawdown of emissions for climate change because they are essentially the reputation system for all for how all businesses are viewed in the public eye. So you know how they show you those progress bars as an example. Mm -hmm. of your profile is 60% complete. And if you just add the languages you speak and where you went to school, it'll be 70% complete. And then you'll feel better about yourself. They could add those. That's a persuasive design technique, by the way, that came mm -hmm. from the persuasive technology lab. Um, they could actually add that progress bar to the business page saying, hey, this fashion company is 20% on the way towards its drawdown commitments for 2030 climate goals. Mm -hmm. And by the way, here's the three exact things they would have to do to draw down their climate footprint. And by the way, here's the button for you to message the hand of sustainability at that company because LinkedIn has the automated search to show you the exact person and who that would be. LinkedIn could actually hold hostage the reputation of all t companies in the world because by the way, uh, business makes up 71% of total emissions. Sorry, the top, the top 100 companies make up 71% of total climate emissions. Mm -hmm. um, and so if you think about, you know, our individual choices create emissions and climate, but it's really the business community. LinkedIn could unilaterally do this. Now, if as I'm describing a, a world where LinkedIn is coordinating the mass drawdown of all emissions for, for all of planet Earth, like how exciting would it be to go to work at LinkedIn now? Yeah, I am psyched. Can you believe, can right, I hire the right. best people? Can I get the yeah. best statisticians? Can I get the best data scientists? Is it inspiring as, as, as hell to just go to work every day? I can't even right. go home. I'm so excited to go to work. Like right. that's the world that we're trying to create is humane and regenerative technology that doesn't treat attention as the goal. It treats the outcome, the social outcome as the goal. And that includes not just for climate. Again, this includes for social connection, for meaning, sure. for finding work and dealing with inequality, like dealing with our real problems.